I mean, I, I have never really quite seen an environment where the premiums have come down as rapidly as they have with, you know, with, with the holidays this year, you could argue around Thanksgiving when industry wide things really started to slow down. You had the culmination of two things converging at the same time. You had the holidays where for the first time in almost three years, people were able to, to travel and see loved ones and do things relatively normally without the restrictions that the pandemic put upon us. And then you also have maybe even a little bit more relevant to the supply side, the 2023 allocations coming out and they typically come out towards the end of November. So you have supply coming in, you have demand slowing down and it created an environment where even with the price of gold and silver doing very well here recently in, in you know the, the last few months, um, since November, mid-November, premiums have come down to a level that puts them on par with the, the most affordable they've been since 2020. Um, it's interesting. I mean, it, it's unexpected. It's interesting to say that um, this might be the, the best availability and the best premium that we've seen industry-wide that I can remember since 2020. And, and it, really came without much advance notice or warning whatsoever. Yeah, it does seem like things drop quickly and perhaps to put it in perspective, maybe we could look at the American Eagle as well as one of the lower premium products. Can you give us an idea of where they were at and where they're at now today so we can get a sense of the change there? Well, the American Eagle really being the one sticky anomaly, it's the one item that has led the way since 2020. I mean, really, March 2020, the premiums went from three bucks over retail to 13 or 14. They've hardly come back down. That one coin is kind of a poor example because although they've gotten a little better, the US Mint and the production of Silver Eagles has been truly the model of inefficiency. I don't know what the total numbers were. I'm gonna guess 14, 15 million produced this year when they have the capacity of doing as much as four times that amount. Uh, but just about everything else has really come down. Um, as an example, junk silver, pre-65 silver, which was selling at 12, 11 bucks over the price of silver as recently as a few months ago, has been cut in half. Uh, when you look at uh, kilo bars, 100 ounce bars, they were as high as four or $5. Now they're just over two and three dollars. Um, Everything really has been cut in half. The one exception to all of this is the Silver Eagle, where you're still paying double digit premiums. And even with the 2023 allocations coming in, what we've seen, uh, strangely enough, is that 2023s are harder for me to get right now, even with the allocations, it's bang, they're gone, than the backdated coins. And, you know, Bottom line is you're still seeing double digit premiums on the Silver Eagles, including the 2023s. Everything else from the Maple Leaf to the Britannia, the Kruger Ann, Philharmonic, Kangaroo, gold bar, or excuse me, silver bars in various sizes and, and pre-65 silver have all come down to levels, I would say roughly half of what they've been for the last three years. Not quite anywhere near we were prior to 2019, but still the most affordable we've seen in, in three years and, and, and the best availability, no delivery delays on much of this stuff as the increased uh, uh, 2023 allocations coming in and, and, and the slowdown in business has allowed companies like mine to kind of restock the shelves uh, heading into the new year. Yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to ask about because in addition to the increased premiums, there were a lot of products where you had showed me one of the wholesaler sheets where it just said check back in November. This was back in October or September or check back in 2023. Are most things now back available and they're able to get or is there still some product delays in certain products? Actually, I'm glad you asked that question because looking at that same sheet, and I'll send it to you again, what you'll notice is there's availability, but almost every single item says limited. And so that availability, you know, availability and um, uh, I guess you could call it subjective. I mean, it's available, but but what does that truly mean? Um, 
I think it's kind of a sweet spot we've seen right here because here again, we've seen virtually nothing in the way of secondary market acquisition. In other words, really no one is selling much of anything whatsoever. Um, and yet the, 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 the inventory sheets from the largest distributors in the world, while we can get the product, it's a caveat with limited. And, um, you know, Chris, supply and demand is, is the main driver of, uh, of premiums. And you could notice it's really interesting, like someone shut off the, the demand right around Thanksgiving, like industry wide. I mean, it's not just Miles Franklin. I talked to the suppliers, the distributors and to, to other companies, and they're all saying the same thing. It just got really, really quiet um, in the month of November. And I don't know what the real reason is for that, because prices were rising. I attribute it really to the fact that people just are itching to get out and 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 relax and, and spend time with family and to sit on a beach and just to kind of unwind in a world that seems to be spinning a little bit out of control. But uh, look, all I can tell you is that today it's available, but my experience with these types of markets, especially one that really hasn't changed, and you could argue the fundamentals are getting stronger for silver, it, it could be a very short-lived phenomenon uh, or, or not. But when I have to replenish, I can tell you that the inventory sheets of the biggest distributors around all say limited. What that means, don't know yet, but uh, I don't expect it to be a sea change going back to where we were when premiums were, you know, under three bucks on just about everything that was a sovereign issued coin, because we're still pretty close to double that right now across the board. Okay, and uh, perhaps last question for you today. Do you find that the waves of buying at this point, and I know this has changed over the years, but is there more people buying when the price goes down or when it actually starts rallying? Uh, actually, I think we get more demand when the price goes down. There is a whole um, subsection, I guess, of people who realize the inherent value and, and realize that it's just more of the same nonsense with commercial banks controlling the price. That's kind of been the narrative over the last several years. Uh, the mainstream people, I think, are a little bit more inclined to jump on board when the price rises. And this is why so few people really ever succeed in investing because their herd mentality allows them to only see the value in something as the price rises. But the people who have been following you for the last you know, half a dozen years understand the fundamentals and realize that when you see it pull back for no inherent reason whatsoever, betrayed by the massive drawdown in inventory from the COMEX, from the LME, even the Shanghai exchange, as Rob Keynes was talking about the other day, and the drawdowns from SLV, the people who are watching and paying attention understand that the biggest money in the world is using these drawdowns in price to draw down the physical supply. So I think the knowledgeable investor who's been following you and others in this industry certainly look to fall in prices as an incentive to to jump in the people who are late to the party look at rising prices it's what awakens them to hey maybe this is something i need to jump on and i guess that pushes me to one other point and that would simply be that that's the wrong reason you don't want to buy this because prices are rising you want to buy this because it's wealth and it's money and you know when it goes on sale it's a better time to buy it not when it's going up so i guess my my answer to that is when it falls we get much more demand from our entire database than when the price rises